Hi guys, Beulah Scott, Occupational Therapist. And Mike, the Physical Therapist. And today, Michael, we're going to be going over um, how to use a cane when you're going upstairs and downstairs um, with the railing and without the railing. And previously, you know, we've gone over how to set up a cane and we've also gone over exactly how to use a cane when you have an affected side and injury. So today we figured that would be a follow up video to show how to go up and down stairs with the cane. And if you haven't seen those videos, you can go um, onto YouTube or onto our Facebook and you can review those videos on how to set up the cane and how to use it. Um, on level surfaces. So Michael is going to instruct me on how to go up the stairs and how to go down the stairs. And we've put the marking on my leg to show my affected leg. Yep, so many times in life you come up with something that causes you to have one leg weaker than the other. Um, and you need the cane for balance, for support, that type of thing. Um, and as she said, we went over how to walk on level surfaces but sometimes you come up to curbs in life and sometimes you have to go up steps and stairs. So that's what we're gonna go over. So um, as we had talked about before briefly is your cane always is in the, the hand that's opposite your affected leg, which as we said, her left leg is affected. So she's gonna carry it in her right hand. Um, we're gonna practice or demonstrate this um, with no rails um, how to get up with no rails, okay? So the, the most important part to remember is that the strong leg always needs to be higher than the weak leg. Um, we always like to say in physical therapy, I think I've said it probably a million times over the years, that something to help you remember is the good goes to heaven. So when you're going up the steps, you lead with your good leg. And as you're going down the steps, it means the bad go to hell, so you lead with your Oh, bad Michael, leg. did you really have to say that? <sighs> I mean, come on, what about the going up with the good leg and down with the I bad know, leg? It uh, sometimes doesn't stick, so if you just remember that, it's very easy. I think every therapist has said it every day. That yep, they have, someone. but I think a lot of us say good legs go up and then go down with the bad I leg. I never heard that good legs go to heaven. Well. Hey, good, yeah. <laughs> okay. But anyway, right. so um, when you're going up the step, one without a rail, you want to lead with your good leg, like I was saying. And at the same time, you're, you're going to leave the cane down with the bad leg. So okay. let's go up with the good and then follow it up. There you go. So you can bring both the cane and the bad leg up at the same time. So go on up. There you go. Okay, now turn around and we're gonna go down the steps. Okay, so this time, as I said, you're gonna go down with the bad leg because you want the, the strong leg to be higher than the, the weak leg, okay? Yeah. The, and I said that, but I wanna go a little further. It's because the whatever leg is up top is doing all of the work as far as strength. Um, because when you, you put your leg up, you have to lift your other leg up, and when you're going down, you have to lower the bad leg down while the leg's up at the top. So you go down with the cane and the leg, the bad leg at the same time there, and come down, and then down with the cane. Perfect. You did a okay, good job. Okay, I got it. All right. <laughs> so that, that's steps without a handrail there. Okay. Okay, so if you come up um, on any steps, most of them have one rail, some have two rails, but uh, you always don't get to pick which one you get to use. So let's say we have steps that have only um, a left side rail here, okay? So it's pretty much gonna be the same on this, but you always wanna hold the rail when you're going up and you're having any issues. So once again, we're gonna lead with the good leg and keep the, there you go. So then lead with the good leg, then comes the cane and the bad leg, there you go. But when you're coming down, you still have that rail on that side. So you're gonna have to switch the cane into the other hand at this time, hold the rail, but it's still the same sequence. The bad leg still has to come down first at that time. So there you go. 
and down with the bad leg again. Okay, so okay. then we can just switch the handrails on the right hand side. We're gonna switch hands. So normally the cane would be in the right hand, but in this case, we're gonna put it in the left hand. Cane's still gonna stay with the bad leg as you're going up. Good leg's still gonna lead. You're gonna pull with your hand on the rail, so. So this is the only time that your cane would go onto this side is when you're using the handrail. Okay. Yes, and it's because, you know what, it's giving you support on both sides at that time. It's just like using mm -hmm. a two-handed device, so it takes away the need to have it in the opposite hand, so. And okay. once again, you still lead with the bad, or the good leg, excuse me. Up you go, and then up with the good leg. And then you're gonna have to switch hands with the cane coming down, and down with the bad leg. And the cane, there we go. Down with the bad leg and the cane. Good. So that's that's it for steps um, and curbs. You they're a lot more common that you come across, and it's the exact same thing as it is with the steps. You always want to lead with your good leg going up and lead with your bad leg going down, and keep the cane with your bad leg throughout the process of that. So. Yeah, but that covers um, all of it. Um, mm -hmm. Pretty much, you know, using the cane on um, stairs or on curbs or any other surfaces that you have to step up and step down. So um, I think we're done with that yeah. till next week. And always remember, be safe. Use your cane and your walker if you need it. And we will see you guys again next week. Thank you.